mock this earth masquerading as a people. And I can honestly say we have an angel sitting in our presence in this room. Diane Smith, whether she's giving water to the homeless people or just helping the downtrodden, this lady, this missionary, walks the talk more than anyone I think I've ever met. And I'm just privileged and honored to have her tonight to give our prayer and our pledge. Ms. Diane, thank you. Call the roll for the establishment. Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Here. Councilmember Smith? Present. Councilmember Harris? Present. Mayor Drake? Uh, here a quorum is established. Is there a motion to waive the reading of and approve the minutes of the August 9th call meeting? So moved. There a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drake? Yes, those minutes are approved. Is, is there a motion to waive the reading out and approve the minutes of the August 16th regular meeting? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Draper? Yes, those minutes are approved. Mr. Folks, are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? No, sir. With that, then I'll move that we adopt the agenda as presented. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drake? Yes, the agenda is adopted. Our first order of business tonight is a public hearing to receive comments regarding a proposed vacation of an east to west alley between Quintard and Layton, just north of O Street. This is uh, actually on the agenda tonight. I will now call for a public hearing on the vacation issue. Does anyone wish to be heard as to that issue? There appear to be none. I will close that public hearing. Uh, Ms. Folks, other than the two items, uh, the uh, alcohol permit and the bingo permit, is there any other unfinished business? Okay, it's my understanding that the applicant for the uh, alcohol license, uh, it, this, I don't know if it's moved, Bruce, or it, it, it's my understanding that, that this is an issue that uh, the applicant requests that we deal with. I spoke with him and he didn't do it with me here on that he wanted to just pick it out the gentleman and we'll apply later. Okay, so, so what we would need to do is we would need to remove it from the table and place it on the floor in order to vote it down in accordance with the applicant's wishes. So with that, uh, I will move that we remove the, uh, the, the Oaks uh, license application from the table and place on the floor. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please follow up? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drake? Uh, yes. So then I will move uh, for passage and adoption of the License application, keeping in mind that the applicant has actually asked us to vote it down so it can be removed from the agenda for him to apply at a later date. So I make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Council discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Jenkins? No. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? No. Councilmember Harris? No. Mayor Drake? No. So that uh, that motion fails. Let's move on to the uh, consent agenda. I will move for passage and adoption. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drake? 
Uh, yes, the consent agenda is adopted. Our first resolution tonight is one that we just had the public hearing on, and it is uh, vacating uh, the east and west valley between Quintard and Lake, just north of O Street. Uh, pretty self explanatory. Um, I will move for passage and adoption. Is there a second? Second. Council discussion. Here, no one, the clerk, please call the roll. Councilman Jenkins? Yes. Councilman Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drink? Yes, that resolution is adopted. Our second resolution tonight is one that was discussed in work session, and it is one uh, changing the terms of the professional services agreement with Goodwin Mills uh, and Kay Wood. Again, this is one that was discussed in our work session. Is there a motion for passage and adoption? Is there a second? Second. Council discussion? Hearing no, the clerk, please call the roll. Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drake? Uh, yes, the resolution is adopted. Our next resolution uh, is one that is an integral part, a very important part, obviously, of what this uh, council does on a yearly basis, and it is. Uh, ultimately adopting uh, the budget for FY23. It is my understanding that there will be uh, an amendment uh, made this evening in accordance with our rules, uh, both statutory and by ordinance. There, there's a time frame by which the budget has to be passed and a time frame by which the budget is actually considered. And so once we take up amendments or an amendment tonight, if, if one passes or multiple amendments pass, then uh, we're required to have a public hearing as to those amendments at a subsequent meeting. It's no sooner than, uh, than five days after this meeting. So we're in a, a bit uh, of a time crunch, but it's one that we're always in uh, with respect to the budget. Um, and so with that, uh, and I'm anticipating uh, an amendment from Councilman Jenkins in order to get that amendment on the table, we'll need to, I mean, on the floor, excuse me, we'll need to uh, present, put the resolution on the floor. So with that, I will move for passage and adoption of the city manager's proposed budget. Is there a second? Second. Council discussion, including amendments made. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mayor. Uh, and I'll be quick with it. I don't have a lot. Uh, there are a couple things that I noticed uh, that were lacking in our, uh, I felt like we're lacking in our budget and wanted to see uh, addressed. Uh, the primary item uh, is to continue and extend the facade grant uh, program for our downtown. Uh, last year, uh, that grant program reached 19 different properties. Uh, so very successful. Uh, with the advent of the federal courthouse, the upgrades to the county courthouse, the, uh, the realization that the city always relocating down there it only makes sense to continue a program that is successful in this nature uh, and so my amendment includes a hundred thousand dollars additional monies for those facade grant applications uh, that money will come from the rescue act funds so it's not uh, it doesn't impact our budget in any negative way uh, the second thing uh, on my list is to change from one thirty hour full one 30-hour employee with uh, Cane Creek Grill to a 40-hour employee. Uh, we already had one in the budget. Uh, this would add a second one. This allows for uh, some extended hours at the grill, and uh, the additional cost of that is $10,400. It will be offset by the additional revenue that will be generated by the, by the additional hours. Uh, we've lost a breakfast service out there as a result of, of the loss of those hours. So. This will reset that and allow that to occur. Uh, the last item is a, a, a net zero change. It's just simply uh, there's monies left from uh, previous budgets for renovations to the golf course. Uh, I, I think it specifically spoke to uh, work on the greens, uh, resurfacing the greens. Resurfacing is not a practical application there, and uh, they actually proceeded with uh, some alternate methods that have yielded some, some good success. Uh, so I'm simply asking the council to uh, change the allocation of that 300000 from uh, a specific thing to uh, just uh, the golf course for necessary uh, 
maintenance and uh, upgrade and upkeep. Uh, so uh, keeping it very kind of generic in nature. There's the car paths that need attention. There's, uh, you know, there's always additional equipment that's needed and things of that nature. So this gives us some, uh, gives them some flexibility in that application. So uh, again, it's a zero dollar change. I'm not asking for additional monies there, just asking that those monies that have been previously allocated remain allocated in that way, uh, but under a different head. Uh, that is the extent of my uh, amendment this evening. I'll second that. Council discussion as to the Jenkins amendment. You and I discussed these um, amendments, and I, I'm, I'm supporting. But there was one that you mentioned that's not in the list of the schedules. Yeah, I'm still working on that, and uh, I will. Uh, I, I may bring that forward at a later date, but uh, at this point, I'm still working on it. I, for for benefit of the council, again, because the uh, time crunch, uh, it, it may be necessary for us to have a special call meeting. You know, sometime next week. Just ask everyone to be, you know, amenable to that and, and kind of uh, be mindful of their calendars at that point. Uh, additional council discussion as to the Jenkins amendment. Hearing no clerk, please call the roll as to the Jenkins amendment. Councilmember Jenkins. Yes. Councilmember Roberts. Yes. Councilmember Smith. Yes. Councilmember Harris. Yes. Mayor Drake. Yes. The Jenkins amendment passes, and so what we'll do again as a preface. Uh, the budget uh, discussion, uh, the body of law that governs us requires that we have a public hearing as to uh, these amendments at a subsequent meeting. Right now, our next meeting is scheduled uh, for September 20th. So it may be necessary for us to have a uh, special call meeting uh, maybe sometime uh, next week uh, for the purpose of having a public hearing on that. And if there are any other uh, amendments, we'll probably need to have a, a, a second call meeting to ultimately deal with budget after that. So, okay, so the Jenkins Amendment passes, and then our, uh, Bruce, is this correct then, just our next uh, dealing with, or, or our next business on the budget would be the, the public hearing and whatever the subsequent meetings. I mean, we, we don't need to table this again now. Yeah, we, we, you know, we, we, we just passed an amendment. But we're not we're not dealing with the budget tonight. Yeah. I mean, I mean do, is it, do we do we need to do anything tonight other than that? Just have a public hearing. Gotcha. Okay, so we will have the uh, have a public hearing. Again, we'll, we'll give you all a special call meeting uh, probably for some time uh, next week. Okay, our next item of business is an ordinance amending chapter six, uh, governing building permits. Fees. I believe this is on its second reading. Uh, we had uh, uh, this was, has been discussed at a previous uh, work session. It was our first reading at our uh, last meeting in October. So first, um, and again, it's, a, it's an ordinance meeting, Chapter Six, governing building permits and fees. Uh, is there a motion to read by title only? So moved. Is there a second? Uh, at this point, I will call for a public hearing on the issue of reading the ordinance by title only. Does anyone wish to be heard as to that issue? There appearing to be none, I will close that public hearing and call for a vote on the issue of reading the ordinance by title only. Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drake? Yes. And so I will move for passage and adoption of the ordinance of any chapter six governing building permits and fees is there a second? Second. Council discussion. Hearing no the clerk, please call the roll. Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drake? Uh, yes, the ordinance passes. Our first motion tonight is one to proceed with the repaving of uh, Layton. Avenue. Is there a motion for passage and adoption? So moved. There a second. Council discussion. Hearing no vote, clerk, please call the roll. Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Jenkins? Yes, the motion passes. Our second motion 
is one to approve a request from the Anderson City Schools for the remaining balance of FY22 appropriated funds of $45,000 to be utilized for technology resources and support across district facilities and FY21 appropriated funds of $200,000 to be utilized for support of COP Preparatory Academy uh, maintenance. It's my understanding that there is some additional information that will be required uh, from the school system and so it is my anticipation that once we get this uh, on the floor, it will be tabled uh, until such time as we can receive that information from the school system. So at this point, I will move for passage and adoption. Is there a second? Second. Uh, council discussion, including any motions to take? Uh, while we're waiting on that information to be given to us, I will move that we table this until the next meeting. Oh, second. Until we I'll second that. Can, uh, will the clerk please call the roll on the motion to take? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Draymond? Uh, yes. The motion is tabled. Our last motion is one to approve the bid for residential solid waste collection and disposal through public services as set forth in the contract. Is there a motion for passage in motion? So moved. There is a second. Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilman Jenkins? Yes. Councilman Roberts? Yes. Councilman Smith? Yes. Councilman Harris? Yes. Mayor Drake? Uh, yes, the motion passes. Mr. Folks, are there any other additional other matters that may come before the council? Yes, sir. Okay, we do have one public comment scheduled for tonight. Uh, Mr. Jim Pritchett, we've discussed this Senate work session. Mr. Pritchett, if you would uh, state your name and address for our record, uh, and if you would please let me try this through. Mayor, I just want to say to the council members uh, about this rotation business. I, I, I'm asking y'all to, to go by the merits, by the job that we do, and not by how much body work we do. Uh, you know, I, I can't help but compare it to a, a small restaurant. You know, you, you got to cook, you got to sell $25 worth of cheeseburgers to stay in business in that. You know, I wish we all looked at it and looked at the merits. And if there is any complaints against me or my company, I would love for somebody to show them to me. Uh, my ticket books are all numbered uh, from, from day one until I came off rotation. And you're more than welcome to come out there and go through each and every one of them and see if I overcharge anybody or anything like that. And I know I've taken up a lot of y'all's time. Okay, there are no other public comments uh, tonight. Let's go into council comments. Ms. Harris, let's start with you. I have no comments tonight. Thank you. I have no comments as well. Have a good evening. Well, I have no comments. First of all, good evening. Thank you, everybody. For coming out. Appreciate you being here tonight and being aware of struggle to be here. Thank you, wonderful staff we have here in the city of Anderson. Um, thank all the citizens who go above and beyond and do what they can for the betterment of the city. That being said, it's, uh, no, I have about schools. We need to go out and support your local schools. Uh, they're working on getting these banners, so when Don Owen has to go play for the state championship, we can fly banners in the middle of uh, the media of Quintar. I think I said that out loud. Um, also, this is, this is uh, Hennessy High's uh, homecoming week. Weather permitting, we will have a homecoming parade as well as an alumni pep rally or a homecoming pep rally immediately following. Um, if you don't get a chance, you want to see a good ball game, we'll be playing in Jacksonville. I go to the Eagles, come out. You may even hear from any voice you come out to the game. But just go out and support the kids. Uh, and continue to be safe. We're still, although we're not, we're, we're not quite out of the pandemic, we still have different Friends that are coming up that are that are calling people to um, be sick and die. Let's just be honest. So please, please, man, please, sir, take care of yourself. Um, just remember, I love you. Anything you do about it.
guys do to make things better for our community. Um, looking forward to um, continuing to move our city forward. Thank you all. Have a good evening. I'd just like to thank everyone for coming back out and watching online. I'd just like to echo uh, Ms. Roberts' uh, comments uh, about Anderson's uh, homecoming this weekend on Friday. I hope everyone can come out uh, to the parade and, and, and go to the game. And you know, Obviously, we need to continue to do all we can to, to support uh, young people in our city, and that, that, that's a certainly a significant way to do that. But again, uh, thank you all uh, for your engagement. With that, I will at this time move that we convene an executive session for the council to discuss with the city attorney the legal ramifications of and legal options for pending litigation. Controversy is not yet being litigated, but imminently likely to be litigated, and or controversy is imminently likely to be litigated if the government body pursues a, purport, a proposed course of action. I will further represent uh, to those in attendance and those watching online that we will not be from that executive session to meet in regular session to, to discuss anything uh, at this point. Mr. Downey, is there anything else that I'll be read into the record? Uh, I can present the record that there's any discussion Thank you, sir. With that, then, I'll move that we convene that executive session. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Pierce? Yes. Mayor Drake? Yes, we're convening the executive session and adjourned. Thank you.